हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी विल अंडरस्टैंड आर फिफ्थ प्रॉपर्टी व्हिच इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रॉपर्टी डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रॉपर्टी दिस प्रॉपर्टी स्टेट्स दैट मल्टीप्लिकेशन इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव ओवर एडिशन दैट मींस मल्टीप्लिकेशन इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव ओवर एडिशन in this property also i have to take three integers x y and z so according to distributive property it states that x into y plus z is equal to x y plus x z that means if we have three integers x y and z x into if there is no sign it will be considered as multiplication x into y plus z is equal to x into y plus x into z let us understand with an example i am taking x equal to 10 y equal to 2 and z equal to 3 put these values in this equation i am putting x equal to 10 so 10 y in place of y 2 will come then 3 is equal to x into y 10 into 2 plus 10 into 3 so according to bodmer's rule we have to solve bracket first so 10 will be same there is no sign it will be considered as multiplication 2 plus 3 is 5 okay now 10 multiplied by 2 is 20 10 multiplied by 3 is 30 10 fives are 50 and 20 plus 30 is 50 okay this is called distributive property that means the multiplication the multiplication is distributive over addition we have divided we have multiplied x to y first then we have multiplied x to z first okay now we will solve some questions based on properties questions first question i'm i'm writing some questions 26 into minus 48 plus minus 48 into minus 36 second 15 multiply by minus 25 into Minus fourteen to minus ten. Third, seven, fifty minus two, and four, minus forty one into hundred and two. We have to solve these four questions using properties we have learned. The use of property is to easy the question. we have another way also we have to solve we can solve directly also but we have to use properties in this question in first question firstly we have to observe the question carefully the question is 26 multiplied by minus 48 plus minus 48 multiplied by minus 36 by observing the question carefully we have to think which property will be used in this question we have understood all the five properties closure commutative associative identity and distributive property just see this question and think which property will be used in this question so we can easily say that in the fifth property distributive property will be used in this question so how we will use this property the distributive the statement of distributive property states that x into y plus z is equal to xy plus xz so here this thing is given in question xy plus x plus z by observing the question and this equation carefully we can summarize that here x is equal to minus 48 y equal to 26 and z equal to minus 36 how because 
here in first part we have x in second part again we have x that means x is common in both of the terms just look at the question what is common in both of the parts minus 48 so obviously x will be minus 48 what is y the value of y x ke saath jo number hoga wo y hoga here x if x is minus 48 obviously y is 26 and in second part if y is 26 x is minus 48 what is the remaining number minus 36 so z will be minus 36 okay now we understood what is x what is y what is z so according to distributive property if x y plus x z is it is given in the question so the answer will be x into y plus z that means x multiplied by so we have to put x here minus 48 y plus z 26 plus minus 36 we have to put bracket we have to put double bracket because here 36 is in minus and this is the bracket of property okay so minus 48 as it is 26 firstly we will open the bracket plus minus is minus minus 48 26 minus 36 is minus 10 now if there is no sign in between two numbers it will be considered as multiplication so 48 multiplied by 10 is 480 and minus minus is plus so the answer is 480 okay this is how we will solve questions by using property students we can solve these questions directly also how we have to multiply 26 by minus 48 then plus sign then we have to multiply 48 by 30 uh, minus 36 then this answer will be added to this answer and we will get 480 but this procedure is very long property we can use property to reduce our burden okay so you got you understood what how to solve a question by using distributive property now the second question second question is 15 into minus 25 into minus 4 into minus 10. Now just observe the question carefully. Just see the question carefully. Which property will be used in this question? Students, it is clear that closure property can be used here. It distributive be used Why? Because there is no positive sign between them. All the terms are in multiplication. If all the terms are in multiplication either commutative or associative property will be used but here see 15 is multiplied by minus 25 into minus 4 into minus 10 here commutative property will be used commutative property states that if the order of the digits are interchanged the answer will be same अब आपको ये सोचना है कि in this question मैं पहले किन दो नंबर का multiply करूं कि मेरा answer in terms of 100, 1000 ऐसा आ जाए Just think, 25 को अगर मैं किसी और नंबर पे multiply कर दूं पहले और फिर बचे हुए numbers को बाद में multiply करूं The answer will be same So, if I multiply 25 by 4, what will come? 100 So, if when minus 25 will be multiplied by minus 4 first then it I, mul I will multiply 100 to minus 10 then 15 so I will multiply minus 25 into minus 4 first so I will write it in first minus 25 into minus 4 into 15 into rest of the terms I will write as it is with sign afterwards okay I have written minus 25 and minus 4 first then 15, then remaining terms. Don't forget to write any term. There are total 4 terms. Just count. There are total 4 terms. Okay. Now I will multiply minus 25 into minus 4. The answer will be minus 20, 25 into 4 is 100. Minus minus is plus. So 100 multiplied by 15 into minus 10. Again we have to think how... If I multiply 100 by minus 10 first, it would, be, it would be easier for me to calculate. 100 multiplied by minus 10 is, 100 multiplied by 10 is 1000 plus minus is minus. So, minus 1000 multiplied by 15, the answer is 15,000 in negative. Okay. This, this is the easier way to solve this question. If I solve it directly, then I have to multiply 15 
by minus 25 then 4 by minus 10 then the answer will multiply but by this by using property i have solved the question orally okay this is second question now the third question third question i am writing it again the third question was 7 into 50 minus 2 just look at the question carefully which property will be used in this question obviously minus sign is there so we cannot use commutative property closure will be not used associative also not used we have to use distributive okay distributive property states that it states that multiplication is divi is distributive over addition or subtraction also so distributive property kya bolti hai x into y plus z is equal to x y plus x z अब आप बोलेंगे कि मैम यहाँ पे नेगेटिव साइन है तो यहाँ पे हम ये प्रॉपर्टी यूज कर सकते हैं वी विल टेक टू एज नेगेटिव सेपरेटली ये प्रॉपर्टी ऐसी भी होती है सब्ट्रैक्शन में x माइन x इंटू वाई माइनस जेड इज इक्वल टू एक्स वाई माइनस एक्स जेड ओनली द साइन विल गेट इंटरचेंज रेस्ट ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टी विल रिमेन सेम सो ऑब्जर्व द क्वेश्चन केयरफुली एंड दिस स्टेटमेंट x into y plus z 7 into 50 minus 4 okay so by comparing we can say that x is equal to 7 y equal to 50 and z equal to 2 okay so the answer is x y minus x z so 7 into 50 minus 7 into 2 okay x y minus x z so x is 7 here x into 50 then minus then 7 into 2 so the answer will be 350 minus 14 answer will be 236 sorry 336 okay so the answer will be 336 now understood how we will why we have how we had solved this question question what question is given in is given 7 into 50 minus 2 what I did firstly I observed which property will be used this, in this question distributive property will be used so I have taken x into y minus z equal to x y minus x z I observed the question carefully I compared this equation so I got in place of x 7 is written in place of y 50 is written in place of z 2 is written okay the answer will be x y minus x z that means we have basically we have multiplied we have opened the bracket x into y x will be multiplied by y then x will be multiplied by z i have multiplied it and then i have subtracted it this is how we solve the question now fourth question minus 41 into 102 in this question what we can do just see which property will be used it is not clear हमें देख के समझ में नहीं आना कि यहाँ पे क्या property use होगी but we can write like this in place of 102 can I write 100 plus 2 can I write because 100 plus 2 is 102 okay 102 so I have written 100 plus 2 I have break this 102 100 plus now again we can use distributive property multiplication over addition so distributive property again states that x into y plus z is equal to x y plus x z here x is equal to just compare this and this term in place of x minus 41 is written in place of y 100 is written in place of z 2 is written okay so x into y 100 plus minus 41 into 2 so the answer will be 41 into 100 4100 0. answer will be negative and 41 into 2 82 answer will be negative now we will open the bracket 4100 0, 0, minus plus minus is minus now minus minus is plus we have to add this number but the answer will be negative 281 4182 will be the answer but in negative now understood how we have solved questions using properties
okay that's all for today now i am giving you some questions for practice just do solve it and i am sharing the answer key of the questions which i have given in last video okay thank you jai hind